All tips and advice given throughout the series is from personal motherhood experience. Mother Truth is not a healthcare medical professional. However, well shared details in every job of truth with no given for absolutely. Hey babes, wanna come join me in a wet t-shirt party? <clears throat> um yeah, not that kind of wet t-shirt party. I mean a more milk secreting from your nipples drenching your t-shirt kind of bonanza. Unlike the conventional wet t-shirt party, this is not sexy, it's not fun, and it's darn right annoying. So let's wipe those tatters and talk about leaky breasts. I'm Go. Hiya. I am a full-time mom to my little ray of sunshine. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna leak you some top-notch information about my experience of leaky breasts. Because you, my lovely, are watching Milky Drip, the breastfeeding series, where I'll be giving you the whole full fat details about my leaking breasticles, as well as some tips and advice based on my experience boob to boob. So let's get into it. Why do breasts leak? Your breasts leak because of your letdown, which is the natural reflex in your body that ejects milk. Now, if you want more information on this, you can watch my video on the letdown, which explains exactly what it is in more detail. When the letdown is triggered, your breasts leak. Simple. Your breasts can also leak because there's too much milk in your breasts and the milk wants somewhere to go to relieve the pressure, so they just drizzle about out, sometimes at very random times. This can happen near the end of your pregnancy and especially in the beginning of breastfeeding, but usually leaks when baby is due for a feed. Now, if you plan to breastfeed, you are most likely going to leak. I know in some cases, some don't leak at all, but better to be on the safe side and be prepared. Oh, and you don't just leak from one, you leak from both. Now, I distinctly remember the first time I leaked. I'll never forget it. Now, I spent three nights in the hospital after my son was born, and there wasn't much going on in my bosoms else but colostrum. However, by the time that fourth day came along, which was home day, unknowingly to me, my milk started to fill my breasts. I couldn't be more happier to be taking my bubba home and to be leaving that hospital, and after what felt like about a gazillion checks before officially being discharged, one lovely midwife, <clears throat> shout out to all you balls midwives, was handing me different leaflets about postpartum information, which let's be honest that I politely nodded at but wasn't really taken in because I was still overwhelmed with the fact that my vagina had done what it had done, and that I was now responsible for a tiny little human being. <laughs> Anywho, as she was talking, I saw her eyes dart to my chest level and quickly look back up and continued wherever she was saying. Then, as I excitedly walked back over to my familiar, I happened to look down, and there it was. Mm. I was instantly embarrassed. I don't know why now, but I was. And then, as I walked out of the hospital, smiling and thanking all the nurses, I was really cringing inside. So I strategically held my son out of a building to hide that dark blob to spare myself from any more embarrassment. <laughs> Firstly, babes, do not feel embarrassed. It is totally and completely normal if this happens to you. Do you think that that midwife cared that my breasts were doing what they were supposed to be doing? Of course not, and I knew that deep down inside. I think I was just shocked and overwhelmed at all the changes that my body was going through. And secondly, it's probably a good idea to pack some breast pads in your hospital bag. Even if you don't plan to breastfeed, that's one thing I did. Breast pads will be your breast friends. <laughs> See what I did there? So, a breast pad's kind of like a sanitary pad, except not for your vagina or for soaking up blood. <laughs> They're for your breasts, and for milk leaks, of course. Now, they're usually a round shape and have a little sticky backing to stick into your bra, and you can just place them right in front of your nipple, and voila! No more leaks! However, you do have to make sure you change them regularly, because if you don't, they'll just get heavy and full of milk and you'll just leak again, okay? And you can also get a little bit itchy in there if you don't change them regularly, not to mention a bit of a funky sour smell. And another thing, you may need to experiment with different brands. Some soak more than others, and some are more comfortable than others. So see what ones are right for you. When you get into a routine of breastfeeding, the odd time baby may skip a feed. And when they do, your breasts will be waiting there ready to leak. Here's what I mean. As you lay there taking in your precious Z's, which we all know is pretty rare in parenthood, the one time baby doesn't actually wake you up, you cut in your jugs to do that for you. I can recall countless times I've woken up just because I'm laying in a huge puddle of my own baby fur. I mean, your breasts have missed a feed, and they are full of milk. So obviously, that milk has nowhere else to go but out, so they leak. Now this might seem repetitive, but there's only one thing you need to do here. 
wear those breast pads to sleep, honey. I know it's more comfortable sleeping without your brassiere and in your birthday suit, you wee dirty. But if you don't want to wake up cold and wet through the night, then listen to Gopi. Bra and breast pads it is. Your leaks may surprise you. This one is purely for your amusement. And when I think back at this moment, it makes me chuckle every day. So one day, the all impossible happened. I got to- Anywho, as I finished up scrub a dub dubbing in there and washing all that milk and vomit off, I turned that shower knob off and breathed in that hot steam feeling like a new woman. As I stepped out to shower and dried myself off, I all of a sudden felt a... Oh. I just assumed it was my wet hair because I already dried off all my lumps and bumps. So I wrapped my hair up into a towel, and then a few seconds later again... Huh? Why are my feet wet? Then, as I looked down at my feet... Is that... milk? Ah... My boobies were leaking all over the floor. So it turned out that the heat from the shower actually triggered the letdown and made them leak. And every time I went into the shower, I always noticed a bit of milk leaking out after that. And it amused me to watch the milk and water infuse and go down the drain. However, quick tip, if baby is due for a feed very soon, be careful not to stand under the water too long. Sometimes it releases a good amount of milk, and you do not want to be left with nothing in their babes. However, a handy tip if your breasts feel a bit tight and engorged, is that a shower can actually relieve the pain. Well there you have it, the truth about my leaky breasts and what you may expect. Now if you have any funny stories about your leakages, go on, comment about it below. Let's all laugh about it together and share each other's tips and advice. Now, if you had a good little chuckle at this very informative and visual video, feel free to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to follow some more milky truths. Thanks for watching!